Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you five of the most common errors that you'll come across when using Microsoft Excel as well as how to fix them. Make sure to stay tuned for when we end up using one of Excel's most valuable features that will help us audit our formulas and see where things are going wrong. And with that said, let's get into the video. Before we get started, let's take a look through our data set. Here we have a list of employees, the department that they work in, the amount of overtime and straight time hours that they charge, the total hours, and an overtime percentage. At the top right of this report, it's supposed to show the date that the report was last refreshed, which brings us to our first error. And this error is where Excel displays a bunch of hashes instead of the actual value. Excel displays this error when a column is not wide enough to display all the characters in a cell, or a cell contains negative date or time values. We can hover over this cell, and what you'll see is that the underlying value is actually Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. So this is not due to a negative date or time value. So what's really happening here is that Excel is having a hard time displaying the full value of Saturday, July 2nd, 2022. And because of that, it just ends up displaying these hashes instead. So the go-to solution would be to resize this column to give enough room for the cell to display the full date and get rid of the hashes. Now while this does solve the problem of correctly formatting the cell and having the value show, having this column so much wider than these other columns isn't really that great to look at. So as an alternative, I'm going to undo what I just did and I'm going to merge these two cells together. That way, you have a cell that's larger than it was before and is able to fit the date and display it correctly. Now that that's fixed, we can continue on with our report by filling out the total hours column. So the way I'm going to do that is I'll select the cell, then use the equal sign, then select the cell with overtime hours, then add the, the cell with the straight time hours, then hit enter, and then I'm gonna use the fill handle, which is this little green box here, and that will copy the formula down for the rest of the rows. Next, we'll calculate the overtime percentage by taking the overtime hours and dividing it by the total hours. So I'm gonna to go to the cell, then use the equal sign, then select the cell for overtime hours, and then use a slash, and then select the total hours, and then hit enter, and then I'm going to format this as a percentage. And then I'll use the fill handle again to copy the formulas down. Now this takes us to our second error, which is the divide by zero error. So Excel displays this error when a number is divided by zero. So at this point in the video, let's use that handy Excel feature that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, which is the evaluate formula feature. And to access that, let's select one of the cells that contains a formula and then go up to the formulas tab and then click evaluate formula. So what this will do is it'll bring up a pop-up and we can actually step through and see exactly what the formula is doing. So in this cell, it's referencing cell C3, which is eight, which is okay, and then E3, which is 46. So that's valid and it returns us a valid answer. But if I was to use this on this cell here with the, for with the error, I'm gonna evaluate this formula and you can see it says C8, which is zero, and cell E8 is also zero. And because of that, we are returned an error. Now there are many ways to handle errors like this, and one way is to use the if error function. And the if error function allows us to return a result of our choosing if a given formula generates an error. So I'm going to use the if error function on this first cell here by entering in the if error function and then selecting it from the list. And we're gonna keep the same formula in the values argument and then use a comma and we're gonna enter a value if this first formula returns an error. So in this case, I'm just gonna put zero. Then hit enter. And then I'm gonna use the fill handle to copy the formulas down. And just like that, our errors have disappeared and have been replaced with a zero. So let's move on to our third error, which is the reference one. 
So Excel displays this when a value is not available for a function or a formula. Now let's say that we're working on this report and we accidentally delete this overtime hours column. The error immediately appears in our total hours calculation. So let's go back into our evaluate formula and see what's going on. So what Excel is trying to do is it's trying to reference a value that just doesn't exist. And because of that, when we evaluate this formula, we're going to be given a reference error. To fix this error, we're just going to simply undo what we last did, which was delete the overtime hours column by using Control Z to undo our last action. So the next error that we're going to go through is the value error. So Excel can display this error if your formula includes cells that contain different data types. So we can generate this error in this data set by replacing a zero with the word zero. So let's do that. So in this cell, I'm just gonna type in the word zero and then the error appears. So let's take a look using the evaluate formula to see exactly what's going on. So I'm gonna select the cell and then go up to evaluate formula and then let's step through it. So C8 is zero and D8 is the word zero. So you gotta remember, you cannot use strings when doing any sort of mathematical calculations. Cause when I hit the evaluate button, then we return the error. So to fix this, just make sure that you don't have any words when doing any sort of math and always have numbers. Now let's move on to our last error, which is the name error. So this error appears when Excel does not recognize text in a formula. We can actually generate this error too by doing an alternate calculation for the total hours. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the first cell and then I'm gonna type in the sum function with an extra M. Then I'm gonna select the overtime hours and straight time hours and then hit enter. And there's our error. And that's because there is no such function called sum with an extra M in it. Now there are a couple of ways to ensure that a function is correctly spelled out. And one of them is by using the tab key. So when you enter in your function, you can go down and then use the tab key and let Excel finish uh, typing it out for you. Or alternatively, you can type out the for function and then double click it from the list and then we can finish off our total hours calculation and then use the fill handle again and replace those um, cells with our new formula. And there you have it. Those were five of the most common errors that you'll come across when using Microsoft Excel as well as how to fix them. Let me know down in the comments below whether or not you use that evaluate formulas feature that Excel has to offer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more content like this in the future. See you all in the next video.